Hi, this is Josh with Ska. In this video, I'm going to answer the question, what is Ska? I'll demonstrate some products with Ska technology built in, and I'll demonstrate the basics of how to bond Ska devices. Ska is a wireless audio standard that has many consumer and professional audio applications, and it's been integrated into numerous audio devices, including speakers, subwoofers, headphones, transmitters, receivers, and many others. Unlike Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, Ska was built for audio. With Ska, you'll never have to deal with pairing like you do with Bluetooth, and a Wi-Fi network is not needed. There are two sides to Ska, a transmit side and a receive side. With Ska, you can transmit wireless audio signals from virtually any device that can output audio, including phones, tablets, computers, TVs, you name it. And we offer a wide array of transmitters for various sources. On the receiver end, you can receive audio with a number of different devices, including the Dillinger Labs Helix headphones, the Dillinger Labs Aquarius speakers, and if you need more power than that, the Soundbox 4 is a great option. You can even upgrade your existing non-SCA headphones using the Rush receiver. Next, I'll demonstrate some examples of how SCA works and how easy it is to use. So let's say I wanna take my iPhone 15 here and I want to send audio to a SCA receiver like the Dillinger Labs Aquarius. First, find the appropriate SCA mini wireless transmitter for your device. Here I'm using the Cassandra USB-C transmitter, which can be used with any USB-C device. I'll just pop Cassandra into my iPhone, pull up some music and press play. Then I'll turn on the Aquarius speaker. And it'll automatically bond to the transmitter, no pairing needed. And this is what sets Ska apart from Bluetooth. No need to mess with your phone settings, no need to mess with the speaker, it just works. When a receiver bonds to a transmitter, you'll see the bond indicator light up in a bright amber color. This is called amber mode. All SCA receivers have a bond indicator and a bond button. If for some reason a receiver doesn't automatically bond to your transmitter and you see a dim amber color, you can try two things. You can try double-clicking the bond button to explore for a new transmitter, or you can try a factory reset by pressing the bond button six times. Using either method, the receiver will automatically bond to an active transmitter nearby. With SCA, you can have up to four simultaneous receivers bonded to a single transmitter. So next, I'll turn on my second Aquarius. And that automatically bonds to the transmitter. And if I turn on a pair of Helix headphones, you'll see these also automatically bond to the transmitter. Let's add in this Soundbox 4 as our fourth receiver. With Soundbox, you have to turn on the speaker and switch it over to Join Mode. The Bond button is on the back of the Soundbox, and you'll see that it has also automatically bonded to the Cassandra transmitter. So now I have all four receivers playing the same audio from this single transmitter. And the reason why this is so easy to use is because the receivers are bonding to the transmitter itself, not your phone or your audio source. So I can actually take out the transmitter and you'll hear all of the receivers have stopped playing audio. And you can see that the bond indicators on these devices have gone dim. Then I can put this same transmitter in another device like my iPad Pro here, play some new audio, and all four receivers will automatically rebond with the transmitter and start playing audio again. Now, there are a lot of other cool features baked into the bond button, but for this video, we'll stop here with the basics, and I'll show you some more advanced features with the bond button in another video. In addition to a wide range of consumer applications, SCA can also be used for professional applications, including live sound, events audio, DJing, and live performance. Using a SCA Pro transmitter like Danny or a SCA Pro receiver like Streetheart allows you to connect any of your existing audio devices and create your own custom wireless audio setup. This includes connecting these to mixers, DJ rigs, PA amplifiers, PA speakers, you name it. If it has an analog audio input or output, you can use it with Danny or Streetheart. SCA is a very flexible wireless audio standard 
that has almost unlimited applications for consumer audio and pro audio. If you have a wireless audio problem, Ska has a solution for it. And once again, you never have to pair your devices like with Bluetooth, you get better range than Bluetooth and lower latency, which is essential for professional applications. If you wanna learn more about Ska and what we're all about and the wide range of products available, head over to ska.com or skastore.com. And if you like what you see, subscribe to the YouTube channel to see more content like this, see more tutorials and stay up to date on all new Ska products. Thanks for watching.